Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study decimal to binary with decimal point. Let us take an example 32.3125 to the base 10. We need to check out and convert this one into binary notation. So first of all, we have to separate this whole number 32 and it has to be divided by 2. So here I am going to write the steps to convert the whole decimal number into a uh, binary. Here I am going to write step number 1. Divide the given decimal number by 2. Step 2. Note the quotient and the remainder. Step 3. Repeat step 1 and step 2 until quotient becomes 0. Step 4, the first remainder is the least significant digit and the last remainder is the most significant digit. The binary equivalent number is to be written from most significant digit to least significant digit. Now let us take this 32 out and here I am going to write 32 will follow the first step divide the given decimal number by 2. So let us divide this by 2. So 2 ones are carries 1, 2 6 are 12. So remainder will become 0. So step 2 says note the quotient and the remainder. So quotient is 16. So we have to repeat step 1 and step 2 until quotient becomes 0. Here quotient is 16, it is not 0. Hence again it has to be divided by 2. 2 8s are 16. Quotient is sorry, remainder is 0. Next 2 4s are 8, remainder is 0. 2 2s are 4, remainder is 0. Next 2 1s are 2, remainder is 0. Here again it has to be divided by uh, 1 is to be divided by 2. So here 1 is less than that of 2. Hence quotient becomes 0. This 1 will become remainder. So as per step 4, the first remainder is LSD. So here it is least significant digit and the last remainder is most significant digit and we have to write the binary equivalent of a number from most significant digit to least significant digit. So here 32 to the base 10 is equal to we can write 1 0 0 0 0 0. Now come to the fractional part. If I separate this one here you can find that uh, we will get 0 0.3125. So in order to convert this decimal fraction into binary, we have to follow certain steps. All right. Step number one, multiply the given fraction by Step 2. Note the carry and the product. Step 3. The first carry is the most significant digit and the last carry 
is the least significant digit step 4 the binary equivalent of the decimal fraction can be written from most significant digit to least significant digit now let us form a table the first one is first column is multiply by 2 next i am going to write here product and then the third column is carry is yes. next we are going to multiply the given decimal fraction that is 0.3125 by 2 so let us perform multiplication over here i'll write 0.3125 into 2 so 2 5 is a 10 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 is 5 2 1 is a 2 2 3 is a 6 it will become 0.625 so here product is 0.6250 so here carry is 0 again multiply this one until the product becomes 0 so we have to continue this one now let us write 0.625 into again 2 so here i'll write 0.625 into 2 so 2 zero is a 0 2 5 is a 10 carry 1 0 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 is 5 2 6 is a 12 so carry 1 2 2 zero is a 0 and this one will come as it is it will become 1.2500 so this whole number is taken as carry and the remaining remaining part that is fractional part is to be written as 0.2500 so once again i need to multiply this product 0.2500 by 2 so we have to carry on this multiplication till the product become zero in some situations product may not become zero in that case we have to round it off to some approximate digits after the decimal point here again i am going to multiply make it zero multiply it by two so two zeros are zero two zeros are zero two five is a ten carry one two two is a four five and it will become zero point five so here i'll write zero point five zero 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 and carry will be zero now once again i am going to multiply this 0 0.5000 into 2 next multiply this one by 2 2 zeros are 0 2 zeros are 0 2 zeros are 0 2 fives are 10 so it will become 1 0 here you can see we got whole number once again carry is taken as 1 and after removing this we will remain with 0 0.0000 so hence the product will become 0 so we have to stop multiplying now so first carry is what it is most significant digit and the last carry is least significant digit we have to write it from top to bottom now so we are going to combine both of these two values so here i'll write first 0.3125 to the base 10 is equal to we can write 0101 to the base 2 now so i have to write here 0.0101 yes now i have to merge both of these together i'll write therefore 32.3125 is equal to i can write here 1 0 0 0 0 0, 0 point 0 1 0 1 here i'll write 0 1 0 1 to the base 2 